He's Harold Reynolds, Major League Baseball Network analyst, MLB Network, 17 hours of live coverage, opening day today. Catch Harold on MLB Tonight at 10 Eastern. Local channel listings available at findmlbnetwork.com. The three-time gold glove winner, Harold Reynolds, joins us. HR, how are you, buddy? What up, DP? Well, I, uh, I was curious what you thought was a better deal for their team, the Tigers with Cabrera or the Angels with Trout. Who got the better end of the deal? Well, Trout, because he's younger. I mean, you know, uh, there's always going to be a question mark with Cabrera when he gets to year, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the contract. But, you know, Mike Trout's going to be, what, 28 when his deal's yeah. up? I mean, that's, that's some pretty prime years they've taken up. So Trout's deal's better. Cabrera, I, he's 31, HR. <sighs> yeah. I mean, that's it, I, these guys never learn, do they? These long-term deals, when you're in your 30s, they usually don't end up well, right? Well, I, I thought for a while that we were, we were seeing a different trend, but, um, I, you know, Mickey's a tough one because, and I know I can give the argument, he can play first, he can DH, he's in the American League. All that makes it tough. I, I think I would have probably gave him maybe more money. I know $30 is a lot. And cut the time down. I'm with you. You know, it's hard to go out there in the guy's 40 years old up in that range. That's that's hard to do. Man. And, and look, I know he's a great hitter. But he, he only helps me hitting. He doesn't help me with anything else. Well, for a few years, he's going to be fine defensively for a few more years. At first base, he's not a yeah. liability. Well, anybody I mean, can not, play first base. I'm with you. Anybody can play first base. Yeah, he's not he's not to share. It's not it's not shortstop and he's not playing center, cutting balls off in the outfield. I'm with you on that. But didn't I can't you even have, argue with you, Dan. But HR, can't even argue. They had two more years left with Cabrera, right? Yeah. So yeah. Why, why don't I let those two years play out and then let me see how he is at thirty three going on thirty four. Maybe we win a World Series. Maybe I don't need Miguel Cabrera for the next seven years. See, now I know why Lovin and those guys are like, hey, Dan, it's time for Rays. Yeah. Because I can see you act like an owner now. You got it. <laughs> oh, believe me, I already have uh, resumes with, uh, you know, future Danettes. Like, these guys are going to get to a certain age where, you know, they, they get past the demo and they're going to price themselves out being a Danette. I mean, this is tough business here. Tough business. This is going to no be doubt. like, you know, the no Cardinals doubt. with Pujols. I'm just going to say, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to let you go. Well, and what teams are saying is you take that $140 million or $200 million or whatever that number is, and you put it in a dump, bunch of different players, like the Red Sox did yes. last year and what the Cardinals have done. And I think that's what we're going to see the formula moving forward because a lot of clubs are starting to lock up the younger players. And here's what I don't understand. I'll throw this at you real quick. Yes. Why don't you go to a guy who's 22 years old and say, here's $30 million. Because who's going to turn that down? That's tough at 22. Well, you have to make sure what you're investing in is real. It's not fool's gold. So we've seen guys who start out good and then, you know, they taper off a little bit. You don't know how hungry they are. How many guys want to be great, continue to be great? So 22, is is 22 a, a – have you seen enough at 22 where you can go, I'm going to invest in you for the next 10 years? Well, I, I I don't know if it's ten, but I, I think you got to take up those arbitration years, and you take them out like the Angels did with Trout. They've seen enough already, so they locked him up. The Florida Marlins have seen enough with Giancarlo Stanton. Um, mm -hmm. There are some examples. I think the Nationals have seen enough with Bryce Harper. He may not take a deal, but I think that's what you got to do. Okay, you get those which young what, guys there? You got to jump. What's on. what's Bryce Harper going to get? Ah, uh, it's going to be scary. I can't even begin to imagine because the, the, the dollars in the game keep changing. I mean, you're looking at franchises now. You know, the Dodgers are $8 billion TV package. Mm -hmm. What can they afford? I mean, that's the biggest change. It's been the TV revenue has changed the game a, a, an awful lot. Bryce hit 274. Um, I, I mean, I, I do – I like him. I don't get turned off by, you know, as people say arrogance. I look at the confidence that he has – I just don't look at him as, as uh, Trout the same way. And, uh, Trout, to me, is a better player. So I don't know what, because of uh, you know his agent, is he going to get more because of who's representing him, or he's going to want more because of who's representing him? 
Well, want more is probably <laughs> the better word because Scott's going to want a lot. There's no doubt. But well, Boris is going to make a splash. In context, too. You know, he's 19 and 20. He's, he's, he hasn't even played his 21 year old season yet. And Trout is off the charts. What he's done is in, in, remarkable, what he's done. But I don't think they're both in the same category. I agree with you right there. But I do look at Bryce Harper and go, for 19 years old, 20 years old, yeah. I got to look at myself and go, what was I doing at that <laughs> age? I wasn't even close to thinking about the big leagues. He's Harold Reynolds, Major League Baseball Network analyst, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. If I said you can invest, they were stocks. Clayton Kershaw, Mike Trout. I go the everyday player all the time. Uh, I mean, these pitchers are breaking down. I hope Clayton is healthy throughout his, his contract, but I'm not the big guy that sits there and invests in pitchers. That's, that's just not me. And I thought of, you know, when I started to look at formulas here with the Red Sox, I thought what the Red Sox did when they won it all is they seemed to invest in guys who made between 9 and $15 million. They didn't go the big ticket item. They didn't go long term. And I, I wonder if that's a formula here that some teams will follow because I, it fit them, and I thought it was a great form. It was a different formula than we've seen. Well, they hit lightning in a bottle, too. I mean, honestly, uh, everything fell together for them, and, yeah, that worked. But I, I really think the formula goes back to even what John Hart did in Cleveland. When you have a bunch of young guys, you're able to lock them up. The Atlanta Braves are doing that yep. now. Yep. You know, you, you know what your team's going to be the next five years. I think that's the formula. All right, uh, sneaky team this year. Well, first of all, who's, who's the best team in baseball? Uh, on paper, the Nationals. I know a lot of people say the Dodgers, but um, I, I think the Nationals are, are loaded. They get Fister back healthy. Uh, that's the team to beat right now. You sold on Strasburg? I, that's, you got me yawning on that one. Uh, I, I, I still think I want to see him go deep in the game. I, I want them to give him the ball and say, show me some gumption. Let's see what you got. And I don't think it's him as much as it's been the organization. So if he's able to take the ball, seventh inning, go in the dugout and go, it's my game, and finish it off, then he's taking himself to that next level. You rooting for like Ryan? Like Verlander. You rooting for Ryan Braun? I like Ryan. Yeah, I've always liked Ryan. Um, I, I think all these guys are mystery players right now. Um, I don't know what's real and what's not with the group of guys that got caught in the net. And we'll really see because I don't know when they started doing things. I don't know. So I want to see. And hard for me to root for Ryan Braun. Why is that? Uh, just, just kind of this stuff he pulled. I mean, you he know, was pretty arrogant in his uh, deal in Arizona. Oh that, yeah, that. and and what he did yeah. to the you know the drug tester, and he just he, he came off as kind of slimy here, and you know he still got a hundred million coming his way. So I, I don't know. I can see your point. Mm. I, I definitely can see that, especially with the way he did the drug tester. That that just was ugly. Yeah, just and and I are they going to push for these? Uh, tougher uh, penalties here? Are we going to go 80 games and then you're down for a whole season if you get popped a second time? Is that is that going to happen? Yeah, that's, 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 that kicks in uh, right now. 80 games, oh, it does, right. 162, okay. and then lifetime ban. So, yeah, they've, they've done it. Uh, the one thing, though, Dan, with that, I think what jumps out, no money for the postseason. You're not going to be eligible to play. Let's say you test positive in April. You serve your 80 games. You're able to come back. You're not going to be able to play in the postseason. And I think that that's, looks, that's big. I would like for it to be a, a season and then you're done. But, you know, I, look, what, baseball's making progress here to uh, try to curb this a little bit. So I like the fact that they're, they're trying to do this, make it a little bit tougher there. So I don't know, what, you know who they catch in the net here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I'd like to see the one year as well. It's, but 80 games is a big step, and we started off with counseling, you know, <laughs> on the first defense. Oh, so I know. it's come a long way. Where what? are the other sports? That's what I want to know. Baseball is way out in front. Well, the NFL doesn't care. I, you would think not. No, no, they that's what, no. We and we as fans don't care. We look at them and go, "That's a violent sport." It, you know, you know, there, there's no records at stake. If 
you know, we have treasured records in baseball, at least we, we once did. So I think that's why we're always offended by it. But football, I don't think they care. Uh, I think hockey and, and basketball, uh, I, I think it's going on there uh, as well. But I, to what degree, I don't know. But I want to know what's the next thing that these guys are going to start using. And, you know, that, that's going to be the key. Because there's so much money to be made. Somebody's already concocting something that says, take this and you're good. Yeah, and the money is big, and that's one of the things the owners wanted to push for, and it probably will never happen, but if you test positive and you get the year suspension or whatever it might be, 80 games or in the case of baseball or maybe a year from now, it could be a year or whatever, they decide, but they wanted that contract voided right now, see you later. And I can see that side of it from ownership, no doubt. But I, I don't think you'll ever get there with the players. No, no. Would the Brewers have done that with Braun? Oh, yeah, they'd have done it in a heartbeat. I think that's kind of one of the teams that said, hey. But the, clearly clearly the one, I think, pushing it more than anybody was the Yankees. And I think all you got to do is look <laughs> at Alex's whole deal. And that's why the players went in and said, we got to rip this up. You know, he missed the season. But he's still getting paid $3 million because it's 183 days on the calendar. So he's getting paid those extra two, you know, days, those 20 days or whatever on the calendar. And, Is he and done? Are, Is he done? I think so. I think we'll see him come back. I, I heard he was at the Stanford baseball game the other day. He's going to always do something to pop up. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, the Yankees, I think they're going to write a check and say, see you later, and I don't know who signs him. Well, you know Al. Al's going to be in the news. Yeah, he will. He will. Uh, have fun today and tonight. Tell the boys we said hello. All right, DP, thanks. Uh, hey, college basketball, they got to quit traveling so much. <laughs> My goodness. It looks like the NBA. Thank you, Harold. <laughs> Harold Reynolds, Major League Baseball Network. Analyst.